adventures. If you haven't yet followed me, think about it and hit that subscribe button because I got more content coming. Today we have the Dynamic Lures HD Trout. This is the Glimmer Trout, 2.25 inches, 1 tenth ounce. I have a bunch of underwater footage. Here it is on a short leader and some rainbow trout coming in to check it out. I have all different kind of stuff happening here, but I don't know what happened there. Trout might have hit the camera. And uh, here we have some other trout coming in to check this lure out. You see sometimes they just follow along. Others come in more aggressively. This was a bit of a cloudy day. You see the decreased light and a more natural pattern here in this glimmer trout, which the trout seem to be more aggressive on this cloudy day, following the lure much more closely, even though it was very close to that go fish camera I had right in front of the lure. Although some fish were not as anxious to hit it and often just drifted and faded off into the background. Others came in quite aggressively following it for a period of time before getting more aggressive and finally hitting it. This larger male trout was really aggressive and finally took it. Just watch this. It's pretty interesting to see how they inhale this lure. Here he comes, checking it out. Look at his eyes, how they look forward at this lure, wobbling back and forth. And finally, Tries to grab it. Remember, this HD lure, I had taken the hooks off it, so there's nothing there to actually keep the fish on. So when they grab and hold on to it, it really shows how they take a lure and how they get hooked up. Here's a smaller trout that was just cruising back and forth, taking swipes at it, but didn't really want to take it. And it looks like I'm pulling the lure back up to the surface there. Okay, this is the same lure with a longer leader. Let's check out how it works. It's cool to see how the trout are just drifting around and then when the lure comes by they change their behavior and come by and take a swipe at it. I always find it interesting that the trout bite this hard lure and they still come back for second or third swipes at the lure and get more aggressive uh, even until they really take a chomp on it like that one. Sometimes they just come in really hot and take one swipe at it and then decide that's not a real thing to eat and then they disappear. And some, some take really quick, fast bites at it. Then they'll finally grab and hold it for a few seconds before they let go. This is to just show you uh, how this lure floats. Uh, the camera dropped down to the bottom and you see this is a hard bait that floats. This just gives you an idea of the looks of the pond I was fishing on in the bottom. Uh, sometimes the lure goes by the trout and they don't even give it a second look. I sometimes wonder if that's because the fish already had seen the lure go by on another troll. Here we had one trout come in following and then another one come in from the other direction. Sometimes I think if there's multiple trout, they often get more aggressive. Here's another one came and swiped at it from the front and then he decided to follow it for a while. It's amazing how long some of these trout will follow the lure, often you know a foot or two behind the lure, and then slowly they just drift away. Some of them will follow it for up to a minute. I think this one followed it for almost a minute, and then all of a sudden it comes and catches right up to the lure before it decides not to hit. Not sure why they do that, but uh, you know, that's why I really think that when you're trolling, Pumping the rod, speeding and slowing up the lure really helps because this is just a steady troll. I had it dragging back there with my electric motor on the canoe. Sometimes I'd go a little faster, like you see this lure is wobbling it a little faster, probably next speed up. And uh, you'll trigger different types of reactions if you speed up and slow down. Usually the steady speed more so just triggers these follows, but it's the change that actually triggers the bite. Here's one, come up, check it out takes a little swipe at it but doesn't get it oh there he inhaled it okay let's see here's another fish coming in let's see what happens here sometimes they just come in follow it and then they take off others come in this guy actually looks like he was looking at the camera and then all of a sudden he notices the bait but then another one comes in and grabs it from the side i love how hard some of these trout just bite it did you see that one what he did he actually came in and hit it, and then the second attempt, he actually comes up right behind the lure and then takes a little bit of water in, and he actually tasted it, and I think he decided not to hit it. 
that last one was crazy. Just went insane hitting it several times. And then right after that, you have another fish come in and just slowly follow it. So throughout the day, the fish's behavior seems to change. And every fish seems to have a little bit different behavior. So just put in your time sometimes because, like you see, some fish just come in really hot and hit the lure. And others will follow it. I really haven't figured out what tips the scale when it comes to these crazy trout because they all seem to have a little bit of an individual personality. And uh, I have realized from this video, though, that the cloudier the day, fish do seem to be a little bit more aggressive towards these baits. And with this natural colored presentation, they're a little bit more aggressive than the bright color on a bright day you'll see later in this video so stick around because i've got more video at the end with a little bit larger lure and a bright pink and white on a bright sunny day and you'll see how they react to it too can't get enough of how these trout just come in and try to eat this bait i take the hooks off because it makes it more entertaining for uh, watching on the video when you hook up on a trout then you only get to see one strike, whereas I like to see how many times they strike it over and over. Uh, if you don't have the hooks on, you get to see how they actually relate to it and if they get more aggressive with each repeated hit or if they don't hit at all. Here we go. I think that trout actually hit the camera and then he saw the bait and comes in and eats it. Very aggressive trout. If you go back, you'll see how I, what I mean. He hit the camera. And then he inhales the bait two times, comes back for a third time, finally spits it out. Is he going to come back again? Mm, maybe this time he's just following and decided that this isn't exactly something he wants to eat. Oh, but there's another trout. <laughs> it's great being in a lake where you have a good population of trout. Makes the fishing a lot more fun as you'll be more likely to catch something. Okay. The lure is going back up to the surface. This is the next lure, a bubblegum, 3 inch, 5 16 ounce. It's called a J-Spec. And you'll see the wobble is a little bit different. It's not as tight of a wobble. A little bit slower wobble. It looks like a little bit tighter wobble, I'd say. And you can see what I mean. This is filmed on a different day. And it's much more bright. You see how the light reflects off the top of this lure. It's a really bright lure, this bubble gum, with a pink top and white sides. This thing reflects a lot of light. And uh, sometimes, you know, guys say try using bright colors, bright day. So that's what I did. Uh, although this slightly bigger lure, it's only half an inch longer than the other one I was using. But the fish seem to not be as aggressive towards this lure. They're more likely to follow it uh, than coming in and hitting it like that smaller, uh, more natural bait, the Glimmer Trout. They do seem to find it interesting. And I think this one might even bite it. Let's see what he does. Nope. Oh, yeah, he came up for a bite. Here's another one. Oh, this guy's trying to eat it. This also doesn't have the hook on it. And uh, those are kind of mm, half half effort bites so compared to that little trout lure that was used prior this one is not creating the aggressive strikes although different day different you know behaviors of the trout which could be part of the reason why I'm not seeing the same activity that I was with that smaller lure I did not use this lure on a dark cloudy day or a you know, this lure on uh, the same day as those other ones because I had to charge the camera and I only have so much time to catch this footage. So it doesn't always work and it's not a great control, but uh, it's just cool to see the different behavior on different days and how the fish respond to different size lures. So that's why you should always remember, change your color, change your size, because it might help you catch more lures on different days. Okay, thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and check out Dynamic Lures. Thanks for watching as always. See you later.